Earth Defense Force Iron Rain. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of the developer. Save the world without hope. Year 2040, an action TPS where you will become one of the EDF soldiers and fight against the invaders from outer space which ruined the world. I've been saying that for ages guys, that there's a whole load of aliens on this planet ruining the fucking world. They have took over the body. Right, don't go in the world settings would differ from the original Earth Defense Force series. More than 50 missions in five difficulties await for your challenge. Now guys, you all know me. Know how I earn a living. No, that's Well, I love the Earth Defense Force series. I really do. I've been playing them on the PS4 and I love them on the PC, especially Earth Defense Force 5, which I reviewed either early this year or last year. Terrific game. But when I reviewed that, a lot of people said it looked like shite with the graphics. Well, they've upped the graphics and it's kind of broken the game, unfortunately. You see, with the upped graphics, you can't have as many monsters on the screen, which is a shame because the big kind of draw to these games for me was the fact that you had shit tons of monsters, ants, whatever the hell they were, all over the bloody map for you to blow up. And there's just not the same amount of number on this. There can't be because the graphics have improved tenfold, really. Well, not tenfold, but they've improved a lot. The frame rate hasn't. It's kind of locked at 60, which is kind of insane. Um, it should be able to go higher than that. Here's the uh, graphic settings here for you to have a look at. Uh, there's not that many really for a game that costs, what, £50? Triple A kind of price tag on this, guys. Um, oh, and I should mention, um, there's a shit ton of DLCs. Oh yeah, guys, day one DLCs everywhere. But don't panic, don't panic, because a fanboy, I mean, a, um, a gamer has pointed out to everybody complaining about this that it's an, it's an accident. It's an accident. They didn't mean to, to make all these DLCs and certainly didn't mean to release them on day one. This game was built and they didn't ever think that they were going to have a DLC. And, and another fa uh, gamer also mentions that DLCs is great because they allow you to enjoy the full game. <sighs> Be right back. Let's go. It's time to do business. <laughs> So, what's the game like? Um, well, it's fun. I mean, I have had fun playing this game, but unfortunately, the, the port is not that good, especially using a mouse and a keyboard. There's shit tons of mouse acceleration on this, which kind of ruined, I mean, it's not uncontrollable. It just doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right. Uh, the, the port is not that good, guys. It's also kind of locked at 1080p. You can't take it any higher than that, which is odd for the price tag. It's, it, it just feels half assed you know? It just feels like, oh, they were released this on the PlayStation back in April or whenever it was. It's now turned for the PC. Ah, oh, just there, yeah, that'll fucking do. That'll do, that'll, oh yeah, but the mouse doesn't, ah, oh, it, that'll do. But it doesn't run in 4K to it, that'll, do man just whatever who cares that's how it feels guys when you play this game it feels like the developers just aren't bothered about it because how could these things possibly pass through a quality control test they couldn't of course they couldn't anyway what's it about this time well it is a bit different to the other earth defense forces for example in this one and i'm not posting any big spoilers here but there is another faction out there Another faction who are trying to tame the beasties. Oh yeah. And you can also ride the beasties. You can get on the backs with a certain um, one of your classes and you can ride on the backs. Now I know a few of you are pro probably looking at my character thinking, Maka, do you, do you have pigtails? Y yeah, I do. Of course I do. Why, why wouldn't I? Why would It's 2019. I'm proud of my look in 29. It's the new look. It's the fashion. It's it's, it's all the rage. Yeah. But yeah, you, there's another faction out there, and you kind of run into them. So there's a bit of human on human shit goes down now and then. You fight enemy mechs and stuff, and the aliens themselves come with a whole new set of weaponry as well. And there are times when it is really good fun playing this. The way you actually set out your your, your character for the missions is a bit different too. Um, everything is kind of behind a paywall, but not a, 
an IRL peer wall, it's an in-game currency peer wall. Instead of having the battlefield strewn with weapons, you just kind of get them after each uh, mission and you have to pay to unlock them. And you pay for them with the crystals that you collect from the battlefield and the currencies that you, you, you collect from the battlefield after each mission and during the mission. So instead of crates being all over the place, it's these crystals that's all over the place, which are your currency. And unfortunately, you sometimes get DLC weapons that you can't use unless you've got the DLC. All these things just, for me, they just kind of ruin a game. Um, there are some positives though. Uh, the UI I find is better. It's still crap. I mean, it's still just a ported UI, um, but it is better than the, the UI in Earth Defense Force 5 and the, and the previous ones, which I found really clunky and hard to navigate uh, on a PC. Uh, for some reason, when a game comes directly from a console, um, the developers forget that a mouse can f***ing click and that you have a pointer on the screen. It's it's like you have to do everything with your bloody keys. It's it's a, it's bloody annoying. It's not, a mouse was designed as a fantastic tool for navigation on a screen, and they don't use it. But the UI is better. Um, it's much easier to follow when you're swapping your weapons around and things like that. Uh, like I said in, earlier on in the review, you don't select a class in this. You select a suit type, and then you go on to select what you want in that suit, what weapons. You've got two main weapons uh, that you have, and then you've got items that you can take. And the items are new as well. There's some new items and shit tons of new weapons as well. And I love some of the weapons. I mean, there's some old favorites as well. But there's some really nice new weapons that you can wield in this game uh, and some nice new items i mean there's turrets that you can put down there's different vehicles as well that you can get some are just totally fire and forget you don't even have to aim them um they're pretty decent as well but there's some really fun rockets i've had great fun with the with the various types of rockets in this game uh, and the explosion damage is great the blast radius is great and it is fun at times when you've got quite a few enemies coming at you and you're just firing a few rockets and blow the shit out of them it's fun but it's not 50 pounds worth of fun and time and time again i would come into a mission and find the enemy not present in the numbers that i expect in an edf game and that is because of the graphical hike that we've seen i haven't tried co-op guys simply because there's hardly anybody playing the game but i have spoke to people that have and they said that it's quite bad with rubber banding uh, with with certain vehicles and it just doesn't sound great in co-op either which is a big bloody shame the stories there like any other uh, edf game uh, you have the over the top um voice acting in this from uh, scientists which i kind of find funny i mean I, I, it's kind of tongue-in-cheek stuff and uh, i do enjoy that about these games the 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 just it's, it's like watching a, a one of them old-fashioned b movies you know and it does provide a few smiles when you're actually playing. But this one, uh, this one adds some annoying people. It's got that annoying f***ing act. Here, listen. You can t listen. My dear EDF soldiers, how are you doing? I wish I could say I'm bursting with energy like always. But since last night's battle, I've been cooped up in my shelter all night. To be honest, I didn't get much sleep. But all of you EDF soldiers are working harder than any of us. So who am I to complain? Besides, since it was a WS company shelter, I wasn't nervous at all. I, Olivia, will continue to send my thoughts to the brave EDF soldiers out there. Even from inside the shelter. I don't know about you guys, but that just gets right on my tits. So there you go guys, it's been a bit of a letdown I'm afraid on the PC. I'm not sure how good it was on the PlayStation, but I'm pretty sure it'll have been a stamp side better than it is on the PC. Uh, so I'm going to thumb this down. Uh, it just needed a lot more work doing to it. It needs less DLCs and more love. And then it would have been a better game. But for me, it's just been rushed out. It's got crappy mouse controls, mouse acceleration, a dead zone on your mouse. It's just not acceptable. It's just not acceptable. Damn shame.